Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm talking all about Beowulf grammar from Yes Hollow. I am answering all of your questions about the curriculum and doing just a quick, not really quick, but a general overview of the curriculum and all the information you would need to know. I'm actually posting two video to two videos today about Beowulf grammar. So this is like that informational type one, all the information you could need about making a decision to purchase this curriculum. But I'm also sharing a second video that is showing actually like a week of lessons. So you're actually going to see firsthand how our week looks, what a day-to-day -day lesson looks like. So after you watch this video, that video will be linked but I also have tons of other updates and announcements before we get into it. So bear with me, I promise it's worth it to stick through it. So this video is actually part of a huge collaboration hosted by CJ, whose YouTube channel is Homeschooling Through High School, and Stephanie, whose YouTube channel is Schulte Sweeties, and they're both homeschool moms. And so they have been working with Guest Hollow, who makes the Beowulf Grammar curriculum, and tons of other curriculum. And they asked a bunch of us YouTube moms who use their curriculum to share videos about it. So they've been working to put together this entire playlist. Both of their channels are down below. Make sure you go check them out. Tell them you tell them you're from Ashley's channel. And then there is that playlist link. So everyone's videos will be uploaded to this playlist. So if you have some chores to get done, if you need some downtime, put this playlist on. There's tons of amazing videos and we're all sharing different curriculum from Guest Hollow. So that's important, number one. Go support all these homeschool moms. Go check out all the videos and learn more about Guest Hollow in general. Next announcement, Guest Hollow is having their huge annual sale. This only happens once a year. I've been around buying stuff from Guest Hollow and this is always when I buy my curriculum from them because I know this sale is almost too good to be true and it doesn't last long. So they are offering 25% off everything. You need to use the promo code we love guest hollow when you check out to get 25% off everything. I don't know when that's going to end. I know it's active as of me posting these videos, but if you want to purchase something, I would not wait. I would not sleep on it because it's really a great deal. 25% off is a huge discount. This is a family owned business, a husband and wife who have homeschooled multiple kids, graduated multiple kids, and this really is their passion. So please support them in, you know, taking advantage of the sale and their amazing curriculum. So that's also good news. And then I have one more announcement. I am giving away two gift cards to Guest Hollow. So you have to enter on this video and my other videos. So each video has a unique link to enter my giveaway. It will tell you all the details you need to do to enter the giveaway. Most importantly, I need your email address because I need to be able to send you your gift card if you win. So if you are interested in winning a $25 gift card to Guest Hollow, you can enter on this video and my other videos. So there's two chances to win, but there will be two separate winners, each winning a $25 gift card to guest hollow so if you've made it to this point thank you but also this is a lot of awesome information there's a lot of awesome things going on in these videos today and i'm really excited to talk about beowulf grammar with all of you let's recap really quick so i don't forget anything there's a playlist put together by cj and stephanie thank you ladies you are wonderful that has a bunch of other videos from other homeschool moms sharing other curriculum by guest hollow so go check out all those other videos guest hollow Hollow is having their annual huge sale, 25% off everything. The promo code and the link to Guest Hollow is down below. And I am giving away two $25 gift cards to Guest Hollow. You need to use the link down below to enter this giveaway. And then there's a link in my other video to enter that giveaway. Now that we've covered all that, let's jump in and let's talk all things Beowulf Grammar. So Beowulf Grammar is a standalone grammar product. Guest Hollow does have a language arts curriculum that uses Beowulf Grammar, but Beowulf Grammar can be used completely standalone. They do recommend it being used for grades two through six. I think second grade is a great starting point. That is when we started it with my youngest. I love that it can be used through a range of kids. Um, that helps me as a mom of multiple kids, a busy mom, that we can all learn in one lesson. Now, I do get a lot of questions like, how does it work for multiple age levels? Well, the 
way that it works is there's multiple concepts taught and we start at the very basic of a concept and it builds lesson after lesson. And so your second or third grader may be comprehending the very basic level of that concept, but as it keeps building, we may lose the little ones and that's okay but we're kind of building with our older kids. So there are times where I just know my third grader is not understanding a concept as in depth as her older sister. And that's fine because this curriculum could be repeated again in a couple years, or she's just not ready for that in depth of the concept. But what I like is I feel like I'm not holding back my older child and I'm okay letting my younger child, you know, need a little extra help through that or kind of just sitting back when we're going super in depth on a lesson. So it can be used with multiple age levels. Mid elementary to middle school, I think is absolutely great. When you start getting into the older kids, the only issue I, I see people may running into is that it's very colorful, it's very graphic. And so you may have a student older who thinks it looks a little childish but again that's that would be like an individual child kind of situation um the main character of beowulf grammar is beowulf and he is the cutest little dog and he helps teach lessons and my kids love them i think i could honestly use this for the rest of my kids lives <laughs> as old as they get i enjoy the lessons i enjoy the graphics so again, I think that's going to depend on your individual child if they feel like that is making it seem too young. There are a lot of, not a lot, but there are activities also in some of the lessons where it's kind of like cutting and pasting. We did a lot more of that last year. This year, we do skip some of that. My kids don't need cutting and pasting. It honestly kind of just takes too much out of our day. Um, so with those, we kind of do the activity, but just without cutting and pasting and making stuff they just don't need that hands-on instruction anymore but the option is there if you want it all right now let's get into there's two different instruction books we'll say so the traditional Beowulf grammar is a student book so this is normally $25 and this is really all that you would need so this book is written directed towards a student. It is all the student workbook pages and all the instructional text that you need. So if you're confident that you want this to be maybe more independent, maybe you are working with that older kid and you have some great grammar skills, that's really all you need. Um, it goes through, you know, it always has like the informational section. It has some like stories, some comics, and then it goes into, you know, some worksheets, some questions, some exercises, and that some some activities. So that is what you get when you buy the student workbook, the original Beowulf grammar. You can just purchase that. There is also the Beowulf grammar teacher guide. And that, that's what I always show, like when I'm talking about the curriculum, or if you watch the other video, that's what I work out of. I did opt to purchase both. Um, the teacher's guide is every page in the student workbook but like miniature and like has all the answers so I am busy like I'm sure most moms are but I do work full time I have multiple kids and so checking answers I need all the help I can get I'm sure I could figure it out without the teacher's guide so that is where you don't need the teacher's guide if you like grading stuff yourself if you're confident in yourself if you have the time you don't need this but I opt for for convenience and so number one it gives me all the answers so that makes my life so much easier number two it gives me some kind of very very short and brief kind of like teaching comments if there's a topic that is going to be a little difficult for kids to understand it gives me some kind of tips to teach it but then also it kind of reassures me like this is a difficult concept and so if my kids aren't grasping it, I'm like, oh, it's okay. Like it says it's more complex. So it kind of gives you like those little notes, but it is not by any means overwhelming. I am not a fan of teacher guides that give you 20 pages to read to teach one lesson. I would never use it. These are small tidbits like, hey, you might wanna know that this is happening or this is coming up. So that's another advantage to it is there are some kind of teaching talk points and help points throughout the lessons. There are extra activities so if you watch my week of lessons with us you will see one of those extra activities it's not required 
It's completely optional, but if you buy the teacher's guide, you're also going to be getting extra activities. And then I think the last, and then there's a couple more things, um, you get a 33 week schedule, which you'll also see me referencing. Um, basically they just plan out like all the weeks of curriculum, how you could complete the entire curriculum within 33 weeks. We don't, we're not doing that to follow 33 weeks. I just use it as like check boxes. Like, okay, we got this day done. This is what's coming up. So it kind of helps keep me on track. Um, it's also so you can get it in like a PDF, but then also it comes in an editable Word document. So I like that because I can copy and paste it into my online homeschool planner. Let's recap everything you get in the teacher's guide. So you get the answer keys, you get extra teaching tips, you get extra worksheets and activities for the kids. And then there's also like extension type things. So like you would have seen us doing, um, it recommended a YouTube video for us to watch from I think Schoolhouse Rock. I hope I'm saying that right. It was a quick three minute video, but they kind of just add some extras. So if you want like extras, if you want help, if you don't want to have to use your brain for anything, I 100% recommend getting the teacher's guide. I use it every day in our lessons. I absolutely love it. It really like makes this curriculum super, super easy to use. So there's the standalone student workbook and then there's the teacher's guide. Each individually are $25 each. They are always a PDF digital purchase. So Guess Hollow does not have anything you can buy that is printed. So keep that in mind too. The student workbook pages, most, some of the pages obviously would need to be printed because your kids need to fill them out. Some is just reading so you can pick and choose what you want to print. They do have some recommended printing companies on their website, but also I always recommend if you don't have a printer at home, I recommend Watson Family Press as a printing company. They are super affordable. They are a homeschool family. And so if you need things printed, I would recommend them. Now, when you purchase the student workbook, it is a obviously a digital PDF download and it is huge. <laughs> Um, so I think you get two different versions of the PDF. You get one where it's all in one PDF, which that is good if you're sending off to a printing company. And then if you're printing it yourself, which is what I do, you get four individual like chunks of the curriculum. So you get like one, I want to say semester, like one session of the Beowulf grammar and you can just print that out. So that's what we do. I don't print the whole thing out at a time. I print by each section of it. So it's very manageable depending on what's going to work best for your family. The teacher's guide, I think only comes in like one big PDF download. But again, I just printed it and bound it and I use that all the time. Now talking about schedule. So like I said, if you purchase the teacher's guide, it does come with a 30 33 week suggested schedule, but if you actually go and research on the Guest Hollow page, they actually recommend that you could do this over two years. So, um, you know, spreading this curriculum out, which is kind of what we've been doing. We will work on it for like 10 weeks and then take a break. And then again, work on it for 10 weeks. Now that's not matching up to their 10 week schedule because we only school three days a week. But the way that it's laid out, it is extremely easy to fit into any homeschool schedule. When we're talking about how long do the lessons take, honestly, like 10 minutes. If there's the activities where we're cutting and pasting, when we did do those activities, it does go a little bit more into that 15, 20 minute mark. But again, that's just because cutting and pasting always adds on some time. But when we're not doing that part, like the physical cutting and pasting of the activities, 10 minutes, it is so easy. That's actually what we pretty much start our homeschool day with. I want to say that's always what we do. My kids love Beowulf grammar. There has never been a, oh, we don't want to do this. And trust me, that happens all the time. My kids are like any other kids. They are not always thrilled to do school, but I can tell you they love Beowulf grammar. They love the character. They love the dog. And because it is quick, short lessons, they're completely fine with it. But at the same time, even though they're quick, short lessons, I feel like my kids are really learning a lot from the lessons. They spend enough time on like one concept. So like a verb, we spent a few weeks of lessons learning all about verbs and we constantly review and we're working towards mastering that concept. Then we'll have a review that pulls in like previously taught stuff. So we are kind of getting that mixed 
practice, you know, kind of spiral approach, but we really are spending enough time on each topic before the next. So I really like that too, because I do feel like my kids are really like understanding the concept with the amount of time that it's taught in. I also like that there's they're not teaching these things in any special way. Like they don't have their own unique way of teaching what a verb is. So it matches up very well with any other curriculum that we use. So we mix and match other curriculums, other language arts programs. And it is so nice when my kids are going over a concept that we learned in Beowulf grammar and they can retain what they learned in Beowulf grammar and it matches up. Like they're saying the same stuff another curriculum is saying. So there's no oddities that we're finding. So the information is like on point. It is in line with what like I think any standards would need. So I really enjoy that too, that it's not often left field and we can't use it in practical day-to-day -day life or in other curriculums either. I'm gonna answer just a couple like questions I got when I asked specifically on Instagram, like what you guys wanted to know about Beowulf grammar. Um, one question is, is do they have videos for instruction? No, there is no like guest hollow Beowulf grammar videos. Even though I think that they would be really awesome. So Charles and Jen, you know, if you want to make some fun Beowulf grammar videos, I wouldn't be against it. I think that would be absolutely awesome. But no, there's not. Everything is taught in that student workbook. Um, it explains the concept, teaches the lesson, review. That's all in um, the workbook. And I think I would ask that type of question because I look for curriculum that's a little bit more independent. Even not having like video lessons. If you have a child that can read directions and follow them, this could be a pretty independent curriculum, to be honest. Like my fifth grader, could 100% complete Beowulf on her own. My third grader probably could too, just she may have a little bit more questions, but the student workbook is written with the instruction, but it's written pretty much towards your child. So they could do this independently. And again, it still only takes about 10 minutes. Uh, the next question I received is, do I believe this curriculum is in depth? Um, I'm worried about retention of facts. Yes, I believe it's very in depth and I like that it kind of gradually builds on a concept. So we start very basic learning about a concept and it builds and builds and builds. Now, if, like I said in the beginning, if your child is younger and they're kind of not, they're able to understand the basics, but not the advanced, then that's fine. This curriculum is meant for a wide range of ages. And so that is where I would work on those basics. And then this may be where you want to repeat this curriculum in a couple years because you could totally do that and then really hone in on those basics and then work towards the advanced stuff. Another question I got is, do you use this for one year or multiple years? Again, I... I mean, to complete the entire course, it is gonna take us multiple years because that's how we're choosing to use it. But then also I would see us repeating this. So especially because I started it with my now third grader when she was in second grade, she may repeat it in fifth grade again. Um, so I do see the ability to repeat this curriculum because again, where we have the basic to advanced kind of knowledge of these concepts where they're going to get more, they're going to get more out of it doing it again later in in their school years next question is what grade would you say it's best for if i had to choose like one grade i would say third grade like if you just only had one option and you had to pick one grade to use this for i would say third grade i think it's right in the middle i think in third grade they would still enjoy the cutting and pasting activities, the Beowulf character, the colorful, but then they are also getting old enough to understand the harder concepts. But <laughs> you can use it with multiple ages like I do and repeat it at different age levels also. The next question I received received is, is it considered advanced? I don't know if it flat out says this is an advanced curriculum, but again, it is written for a wide range of ages. So if you're teaching this to a third grader, there's also concepts and materials up for till a sixth grader is how it's written. So yes, it could be considered advanced if your child is latching on to those more advanced concepts. I received two other questions um, asking me to compare this curriculum to both Abeka and IEW's Fix It Grammar. So I've never used Abeka Language Arts. I've seen a glimpse of like their preschool curriculum and I 
didn't end up using it so I cannot compare to a Becca. If anyone in the comments chooses to do that, please do, but unfortunately I can't compare it. Um, as far as IEW Fix It Grammar, um, I have shared my thoughts about Fix It Grammar and I believe before your child does it, does IEW's Fix It Grammar that they should complete a grammar program like Beowulf Grammar. I felt when we jumped in to the first level of Fix It Grammar, the parts of speech, the parts of grammar that they were expected to know and kind of fix the sentence, my kids did not have a good understanding of them. And I don't think Fix It Grammar taught them to build that knowledge. So I believe that you should have a good base knowledge of grammar before using Fix-It Grammar. So to me, they're two completely different types of programs. Fix-It Grammar, I think would be a great review for older kids that have completed Beowulf Grammar and you just wanna keep up on those grammar skills. So I hope that explanation makes sense. Beowulf Grammar is a comprehensive, all-encompassing grammar program that is teaching your kids grammar from the basic level to the advanced level and everything they need to know, mastering those concepts, practicing them, viewing them, and preparing them, I believe, for future grammar lessons, future writing language arts courses. I don't know if I mentioned this. I'm going to mention it really quick so I don't forget. If you buy both the Beowulf Grammar Student Workbook and the Teacher's Guide, you get 10% off. So keep that in mind. If you're considering buying the Student Workbook and maybe the Teacher's Guide, and this is what I did. I bought the Student Workbook first, and then like a couple weeks later, I went back and bought the Teacher's Teacher's guide and I lost out on like 10%. So I don't know, $10, I'm gonna say maybe $5. But still, I could have saved bundling them. So there is a bundle where you save 10% as well as there is a 25% off sale going on right now. So buy both of them together if you feel like you may want the teacher's guide. It just makes your world easier. So I just wanted to say that before I forget. Besides all my other links and <laughs> announcements that are in the description box, I'm also going to link the pages directly to Beowulf Grammar. They do include sample pages. So if you want to see more samples of the student workbook versus the teacher workbook, all of that will be down below. Below. Also, if you have any additional questions about Beowulf Grammar, I'm happy to research and answer. So leave those in the comments. But also just know that if you purchase a product from Guest Hollow, their community is full of support as well as Charles and Jen, the owners of Guest Hollow, are very active in Facebook groups. They have individual Facebook groups for all their products. So there is a I believe a Beowulf Grammar Facebook book, Facebook group. If not, there is a language arts one which you could ask Beowulf Grammar questions in. Charles is in there always responding. And so if you have genuine questions that you need answered, go to that Facebook group. There's also a huge group of parents who have used this curriculum and are always more than happy to answer those questions. So I hope you have a better understanding of Beowulf grammar. Don't forget, if you haven't watched it already, I filmed an entire week of us doing lessons too, so you can see real life what these lessons look like. We're about halfway through the curriculum, so we're at a midpoint, so you can kind of see like what that looks like. This is a collaboration hosted by CJ and Stephanie. Go check out their channels, and there's a playlist link that has a bunch of other homeschool moms sharing a bunch of videos all about Guest Hollow curriculum. I know I'm to be watching that as soon as it comes out because I am going to be taking advantage of the Guest Hollow sale. Don't forget, they're having a huge sale right now, 25% off everything. Use the code we love Guest Hollow. I don't know when that sale is going to end, so if you're wanting to buy something, do not wait. I'm also doing a giveaway. I'm giving away two $25 gift cards to Guest Hollow. You can enter for one on this video and the link down below. All the rules to the giveaway are in that link as well. And if you want to enter a second time to get another chance of winning, go check out my other video. There's a separate link to enter there. Thanks for sticking around. That was a mouthful. I had a lot to say. I hope you guys enjoy both of my videos all about Beowulf Grammar. Thanks for your support. Thanks for being here. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.